you know, no matter which way I slice it, this video is definitely going to get hit, so, eh, screw it. China's definitely trying to suppress evidence about the coronavirus and its origins and where it came from actively uh, by requiring extra vetting process through uh, papers from their universities and actively making universities delete certain pages from their reports. Let's read this. From the Guardian, China clamping down on coronavirus research, deleted pages suggest. And I mean, come on, does this surprise anybody? Is anybody picking their jaw up off the floor? Probably not. Most of you are probably looking at it like, yeah, and? And China should realize that, China. You should realize that everybody kind of already knows, you know, the cat's out of the bag, you're not putting it back in. China is cracking down on publication of academic research about the origins of the novel coronavirus. I was hesitating. See, 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 YouTube has got me even when I make a conscious effort to not censor myself. YouTube has got me in the habit of censoring myself. In that, another example, I go into Walmart earlier today. Traffic's moving free flow. They've got one entrance and one exit, right? People are going, people are going, people are going. There's a couple in front of me. And they see a person in authority at the door and they stop. And I stop, and I'm like, why are we stopping? The guy looks at them and says, come on, keep moving. They stopped because they are so, uh, hmm, uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of nature, they are conditioned. That's the word I'm looking for. They are conditioned to see authority and be like, <gasps> you know. So they saw this person, they stopped. Even though common sense says, look, traffic was flowing freely in and out of the store at a pretty even rate, keep going. You're holding up the rest of us trying to get in and buy sanitizer before all the people fighting. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, yes, no, I did buy sanitizer, but nobody was fighting over it. It, it. it was pretty good. There was plenty of sanitizer, actually. But yes, of course, they're cracking down on the coronavirus and what is likely to be part of a wider attempt to control the narrative surrounding the pandemic. Documents published online by Chinese universities appear to show. But of course, who's surprised? I'm not. Two websites for leading Chinese universities appear to have recently published and then removed pages that reference a new policy requiring academic papers dealing with COVID-19 to undergo extra vetting before they are submitted for publication. Research on the origins of the virus is particularly sensitive and subject to checks by government officials. See, if China was smart, they would just own it. They'd just be like, yes, it started here, okay, and move on with it. But no, because the, the, the Streisand effect, don't talk about it, don't look at it, don't do this. The minute you say don't, people are going to want to do it. The minute China says, no, 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 you hurt our feelers, our fifis are hurt because you're calling it the Kung Flu or the Chinese virus or the Wuhan virus or the uh, Wuhan coronavirus is what it originally was called because that's what its designation was. Its designation when it first came out was Wuhan covid 2019. Wuhan, where it started. COV, COVID. D, December 2019. 2019, that's what its classification was for filing purposes, research purposes, scientific purposes. But no, because everybody's so goddamn sensitive and we've got to appease China because, well, look where we're at right now. You know, we pissed China off. They're what? They're going to stop sending us meds and supplies. <laughs> Yeah, hell of a predicament we've got ourselves in. Research on the origins of the virus is particularly sensitive and subject to checks by government officials. The notice is posted on the website of Fudan University and the China University of Geosciences in Wuhan said. Both the deleted pages were accessed from online cages. Professor Steve Tsang, director of SOAS China Institute in London, said the Chinese government had had a heavy focus on how the evolution and management of the virus is perceived since the early days of the outbreak. But of course, because they don't want this tagged on, right? They are trying to overtake the American dollar as the backup currency for the world. And they have been in a serious, serious attempt for the last four years. They have built the infrastructure for it. They have built the contacts for it. And just like any other business, any semblance of impropriety, any semblance of weakness, any semblance of anything could devastate 
your future business perspectives. And that's exactly what China is doing, trying to cover its business and political perspectives. They don't want this associated with them. They don't want any kind of a stigmatism at all. They want to be squeaky clean right now because they want their currency to be the backup currency for the world rather than the dollar. In terms of priority, controlling the narrative is more important than the public health or the economic fallout, he said. It doesn't mean the economy and the public health aren't important, but the, mer- uh, the narrative is paramount. No, I'm paramount. Oh, wait, no, man. The virus, having infected more than a million people worldwide and caused heavy casualties, particularly across Europe and the U.S., details about its origin and the first weeks of the pandemic, when there was a cover-up by local officials, may be considered particularly sensitive. No shit. Come on now. The doctor that came out in early December and was trying to sound the alarm was picked up by the police and then disappeared for a couple days and then later reappeared after he'd signed a confession and said, well, what he said was hyperbolic and, you know, it was, he lied, basically, is what they made him say. And even before that, a year and a half, there were alarm bells going off. It's just nobody knew to look for it because hindsight is, after all, 2020. But back in November of 2018, there were signs that China was doing something nefarious, transporting... I could not find the answer to your question. Yes, because nobody knows the answer to my question, Watch, but I appreciate you taking part in the conversation. It's always appreciated. And this is a great time for you guys to take part in the conversation as well. If my watch is listening and my watch is taking part in the conversation, why can't you? But there were times in 2018, in November, when Chinese officials were being... Well, here's, here's the paperwork I have, and here's what it says. Basically, they picked these people off, up off the streets in China. They gave them a couple weeks of classes so that way they could get a piece of paper saying that they were a biologist. And then real biologists gave them deadly diseases like MERS and SARS and E. coli and things like that. And they told these fake biologists with a piece of paper that they went to class for a couple weeks just so they could get this piece of paper and told them, now, carry this piece of paper to our colleague in America. And they would go through the airport thinking all the, everything was okay and thinking that they were carrying antibodies and customs officials would stop them. This is November of 2018, people. And officials would stop them and they would either have not declared at all that they were carrying biological stuff or they were declaring that it was antibodies. But they were not. They were active, viable, deadly samples. And just like drug mules, when things like this are happening, if there's one, there's ten. They don't send them one at a time. They want their shit to get through, so they send them in multiple places, at multiple times, in multiple fashions. Just like drug mules, the same philosophy applies. And the evidence that I have seen and that I have says that this was happening back in November and that perhaps there is more happening than what we think. And of course, China doesn't want their eyes. They don't want anybody's eyes on this. Like anybody doing a crime, you don't want people to talk about it. You don't want people to think about it. You want to get away with it. Just saying. If these documents are authentic, it would suggest the government really wants to control the narrative about the origins of the COVID-19 very tightly, said saying of the reports of the new regulations. Because if they knew where it really started and when it started and that it actually started back in 2018, probably even earlier than that, probably more likely 2016, 2017 was when the earliest beginnings of this whole thing was happening. And I believe very firmly that this happened, and had it not have happened, then there would have been an even greater devastation awaiting us in the future. I just connect the dots and I see things that are just saying, no, this this is nefarious. There's something here, there's something more, there's something devastating. And I think maybe we should actually count our blessings that it was released now than when it was actually fulfilled to its completion of the project. China University of Geoscience Wuhan appears to have published and then deleted new requirements that academic papers dealing with the origins of the virus be approved by China's Ministry of Science and Technology before publication.
And see, the government can do that because it makes it sound a lot better. Rather than the government saying, well, it's not the government that's censoring these people, it's our Ministry of Science and Technology because we want to make sure that the proper information gets out. And that's the screen that they're going to hide behind. Okay, that's the blanket that they're going to try to put over everybody's eyes. No, it's not the government interfering. It's the Ministry of Science because our science says, okay, well, your science says because the government says. The university's academic committee was expected to first go through the research with an emphasis on checking the accuracy of the thesis as well as whether it is suitable, suitable for publication, the re regulation said. When the checks have been completed, the school should report to the Ministry of Science and Technology most and it should only be published after it has also been checked by most, it said. Despite its name, the Geosciences University announced elsewhere on its website that it was carrying out coronavirus research. I don't know. I just... When you connect the dots and you do a lot of your own research and you don't take what people say with anything but a, okay, that's interesting and... Let me look into it. And I highly, highly suggest you look into it. Uh, use the keywords Chinese biologists keyed in with airport, viable samples of MERS, viable samples of SARS, viable samples of E. coli, uh, customs and border agents bust Chinese biologists in airport. You'll see reports. You'll, you'll see reports. And it's all a matter of public record. It's not top secret but that's what i got for you guys on this one i love you guys i'll keep you informed to the best of my ability this was definitely a lot of me interjecting my own opinion into this take that with a grain of salt but i do highly encourage you to do your own research and come up with your own mind there's nothing wrong with hearing dissenting opinions and usually nine times out of ten my experience is anyways the truth is actually somewhere in the middle and I love you guys enough that I will do whatever and stick my neck out and say, look, here is what I believe in order to start the discussion. But it is up to you to share this video and keep the discussion going. And if you could share this video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one.